time once again for Rants and Reviews, our game of the week. This time we are checking out Joking Hazard. Uh, we are huge fans of Silent and Happiness. My favorite thing about Silent and Happiness is the depress depressing comic strip week. It is tons of fun. Um, but Joking Hazard is a very interesting game. It reminds me a lot of the Apples to Apples vibe um, that a lot of other games have kind of copied and modified to create something unique and new. And they definitely have done it with Joking Hazard. So the way the game works is um, you have, of course, inside the box, a um, little rule book and a cute. Um, but on the, the way the game works is you have your cards shuffled into decks, and all players draw seven cards. So we'll just put them up. All right. On the round, when someone is chosen as a judge, a random card is chosen to basically be the primary card for the setup. Um, after that point, the judge gets to choose one card from their hand to place down as the second, keeping in mind this is a three-panel joke. So, um, you can't say it. I'm confused. So, <coughs> the setup is the use of the person on the left says something, the person on the right, you know, says something else, and then it's now turn for the players to choose a card to finish the three-panel comic. Uh, now... You basically pick some that you think would be funny for the joke, but we'll just say we have four players, and they get all placed face down. Now at this point, um, the judge would then take those four cards and place them one by one. <laughs> Interesting choice. Not that great. Okay, that's great. So the joke is, I'm off my medication. The next one says, I'm so confused. And my favorite one is, smoke weed every day. Uh, which is pretty funny, uh, pretty ridiculous. But that's, that's the, the third panel that goes in line. So it's like, I'm off my medication. And the guy's just like completely ridiculously out there out of nowhere. It doesn't make any sense because he's off his medication. So if I was to choose that one to be the winner, or maybe I chose... Um, I mean, that's really the only option. Uh, that person gets to take this card as their victory point. It goes in front of them. You take all the cards that are discarded off the table, and then all players, including the judge, because remember, he played a card down to be the second panel, draws back up to seven, which would be about one card. Um, and that's pretty much the game. Um, you can see it's very similar to apples to apples. You're playing to the judge. Uh, you're playing a card out of your hand. But because of the whole three-panel dynamic, you're creating a story. And it's, it's pretty fun in that way, especially if you get some really good cards, you can create some really interesting and unique stories and jokes along the way. Like for instance, if it was my turn to go, you know, maybe I'd do who, who the blank let you out of, my, out of your basement, um, which would be funny. But it's, it's, they're, they're all, they're pretty good options. They're pretty interesting, unique, um, and it has that real sighted happiness feel. So if you're, if you're looking for something like that, if you're looking for something a little bit fun, a party game with your friends, this is a good option. They also have a ton, a ton of expansions. So keep your eye out for those if you do pick up this game. Um, some of them are drug paraphernalia-esque. Some of them are just humorous, but really all in all, a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.